So you're here to learn about the brewing process. Well then, get your pad out, give the pencil a lick and let's get going. The first and absolutely fundamental thing you need to know is that basic beer is mostly made of just four core ingredients. Malted barley, hops, water and yeast. Now, if you're asking yourself what's malted barley, good question. Malted barley isn't a type of barley, it's a way of making the barley ready for the brew. There are three stages in the malting process. First, we steep the barley by soaking it in water for a day or so. This makes the barley think that it's ready to grow. Then we drain the water and let it germinate for up to five days. This is critical because this is when the barley starts generating the special enzymes that convert starches into sugars. We'll talk about this later. Finally, we dry the barley to stop it germinating and kiln the barley to give it a lovely toasted flavour. The darkness and richness of the beer is dictated by how long we toast the barley for. Malted barley gives body to beer and lays down the foundations of flavour. The malt can be kilned lightly to create pale malts for golden lager, or it can be roasted intensely to make stouts and porters. In some parts of the world, and for some of the more specialised beers, we can also use other ingredients, sometimes called adjuncts because they are extra to the main ingredients. Wheat beer, for instance, uses a lot of wheat in conjunction to the barley to give it its unique flavour. Water also contributes to the flavour characteristics of the beer. And what type of water you use can make a huge difference. For example, brewers use water that's rich in minerals when creating fortifying stouts like Guinness, but softer or mineral-free water when brewing crisp dry lagers like Tui's Extra Dry. We use the hops to add bitterness to the beer and also impart some interesting aromas. Like the malted barley and the water, the type of hops and where they're from makes a big difference to the types of flavours. Some are a bit more floral, some have citrus notes, and some add a good kick. The intensity for bitterness and aroma can be varied by the amount of hops, the type used, and what processes the brewer uses. The last of our primary ingredients is a very special little creature called yeast. Yeast is the magic that turns the whole thing into beer. The starches in the grain are converted into sugars during brewing and in fermentation, the yeast converts these sugars into alcohol and adds a lot of flavours and carbon dioxide. Yeast really is a magical little critter. Sometimes we feed the yeast more sugar in order to finesse the taste balance of the beer. We can do this with small amounts of locally grown carbohydrate rich crops, which are also called adjuncts. In Asia, they often use rice, in Australia, we use natural cane sugar from sugar cane plantations. Luckily for us, natural cane sugar is one of the best and purest kinds of sugar. But we only add enough to help our yeast metabolise during the fermentation process and produce a slightly drier finish to the beer. By the end of fermentation, there's almost no sugar left in beer. On average, it's 99.9% .9 sugar-free. 